Well, many who are vaccinated, they are now moving ahead with travel plans, especially because the CDC said that it's allowed. And they're eager to make up for lost time. Mm -hmm. So we have a travel expert. There she is. Hi, Jennifer Weatherhead. Hi, good morning. Thanks for having me. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the show here. So let's break it down state by state. Let's far, uh, start, uh, not in the first state, in the Keystone State, Pennsylvania. Yeah, so in Pennsylvania, the travel restrictions were actually lifted in March. So there's no longer quarantine. There are no other restrictions placed on Pennsylvania. So that's a really great thing. And you just still want to make sure that you are following mask guidelines, social distancing, and any other rules that apply to the state. Okay. What about internationally, though? Internationally, definitely, you do need to have a negative COVID test before you return to the state. So you need to have that done three days prior. And even if you are vaccinated, you do still need to have that negative COVID test. Gotcha. Okay, then let's move to New Jersey. What are the, if you're doing domestically, what are the rules for New Jersey? So New Jersey has some new travel rules, which is interesting. And basically, if you're fully vaccinated, you no longer need to get tested or quarantined to come into New Jersey. If you're unvaccinated, you do still need to do a self-quarantine if you're coming from any of the states outside of the immediate region. And again, from an international standpoint, you do need to have that negative COVID test three days prior to getting on your flight to return to the state. So if and I'm in, I keep bringing up Costa Rica, do I have to get that thing stuffed up my nose in Costa Rica? Yeah, so Costa Rica has some different rules and definitely check out every destination before you go. A lot of places are looking to have either a negative test done 72 hours, so three to five days before you go, um, or some of them will actually take proof of vaccination and you don't need to do the test or do any other testing while you're on the in the destination or on the island. So before you book anything and before you pack your bags and get on a plane, make sure you double check everything before you go because you don't want to end up getting to the airport and then being told you can't get on. Yeah. Uh, but if you're, but for New Jersey internationally, let's say you do go to Costa Rica, you have to get the test there, or you can come back to Jersey and just get the test within three days. No, still do the test beforehand, okay. and then also do the test when you come back. Oh goodness! All right, let's uh, don't forget Delaware. Come on. Same as Pennsylvania, so there are no travel restrictions currently, so you don't need to worry about anything there, but again, the mask and social distancing, and same with international. So the international travel applies to the entire United States, so definitely make sure that you're following up on that. Okay. And then you mentioned um, that some countries are saying, hey, you need to have a test when you get here and that kind of thing. What about the countries who still are saying no to Americans, you can't come? Yeah, so that can change really quickly. So I would stay on top of that and keep checking it. If it's a destination that you're really wanting to go to. So there are, you know, a few islands in the Caribbean that are not open to U.S. residents right now. We're talking about the Cayman Islands, Trinidad and Tobago, St. Barts, Martinique. Those places aren't open. That still leaves a ton of great island destinations, Mike, if you want to book a vacation to go there. Um, but you want to double check all of those places before you book anything. Right. European countries, there are about 26 that are not currently open to U.S. residents. So I would say book those for later on. You can still plan because things will change. Book those for later on and double check your fine prints so you can make cancellations if you need to. And that's because I know um people have been discussing and they're like, well, should we still book? Because the, the concern is once they do open up, everyone's going to try to buy it once That's and the right. prices are going to go up. Um, so I guess, but at least there's flexible cancellation policies right now. Yeah, exactly. And just again, double check everything. The airlines have been really great about doing cancellation or change fee or a one-time change without a fee. Double check that to see if you qualify for that before you book anything, just so you know that you have some flexibility. I would hate to get stuck in St. Bart's. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that would be horrible, mercy, wouldn't it? Mercy, mercy <laughs> me. Are there any airlines that still have the empty um, row? Or are they pretty much all, um, all seats filled? They're pretty much all seats filled okay. now. I know Delta was one of the last ones holding out, and they're looking to change that. So that's still the case. But if you are fully vaccinated, like the CD CDC did say that domestically, it is safe to travel. They're still advising or discouraging against non-essential travel so they still have that disclaimer but it is safe for you to travel if you're fully vaccinated so remember that is two weeks after your second dose if you're getting the two doses mm -hmm. before you can travel again so i think that's the reasoning for allowing those middle seats to be filled again and we're gonna have that dreaded situation of just not wanting to be in the middle seat anyway and then add well, this on top better <laughs> believe it uh <laughs> jennifer great job we'll have you back for sure thank you so much thank you